we're going to have some fun with this video. It has been a while since I've been in front of a camera. No reason for it, just been busy. So, what am I going to talk about? Well, very simple. Blizzard, you've got to step up your game, son. You've got to step up your game. And what I'm talking about is all the social media... All the social media that wants to constantly push your product, push, push, push Diablo 3. It's getting old. It's getting old. I, I, I cannot tell you how many times I scroll through my Facebook page. And all it wants to do is keep talking about, like, asking, asking its fans... Oh well, what cool character do you like? Oh, well, what uh, what cool villain do you like? What? Well, oh, here here's the next season. Um, oh, by the way, here, I know. And um, then here comes the next season coming up, and we're offering triple the the gold trolls. And like, at what point do you or do us? I know. At what point do any of us as fans do we ever just say, you know what? I'm sick and tired of being screwed over. Diablo 3 has been out for years. For years. At least four or five years. Okay? They've given us two DLC packs. And I don't care what anyone says. Oh, well, they offered seasonal mode. They, uh, no, I'm not talking about that. Okay? The, uh, the Eternal Collection gave us the fifth act. And then they released a Necromancer DLC. And I like them both. I honest to God do. I think they're wonderful additions to the game. What else? This is my problem with Blizzard. Is that they are so ridiculous when it comes to their content. I mean, I mean, are you sitting on are you sitting on Overwatch? Because in my opinion, Overwatch is losing popularity. There's really nothing to add. And like just for that game, I know. In a couple of years, how often have they released new content? They released one new uh, combatant into the game, and that was it. My issue with Diablo 3 is, like, this game, this universe, this lore is literally built on so much to being able to be added to it. They are doing nothing with the game. Sorry, my phone keeps going off. We haven't seen anything new with the game, and it's driving me nuts that Blizzard is constantly turning a blind ear to it. And and I'm and I'm messaging on the Facebook uh, and Twitter notifications that they love to put out, and I'm looking through the comments. People are equally as unhappy. Yeah, you got fans in there who were like, "Yeah, this is great," like the cheerleaders, as I like to call them. But I think we can be a little bit more harsher than this. Blizzard has not put out anything worthwhile with any of their IPs in a while and a lot and I, and I guess a lot of people can argue is that they're really they're, they very seldom do this but with games like Diablo 3 where it's literally built upon constantly playing the game it could really benefit the series to at least have one yearly content patch added to it but nothing as a matter of fact, their biggest announcement that they had for this year was the fact they were porting the game to the Nintendo Switch. That, to me, does not fly. That, w congratulations, you can access it on another console. And let me tell you something this to some of you Nintendo Switch fanboys. And, and, and you might get a little pissed off, and to be quite ah! honest with you, that's fine. Let me just put it to you like this. Ah! Just because the game, I know, let me get there. I'm just as upset. She's upset, too. Just because you port a game to another console, shh, just because you port a game to another console, it doesn't make it better. It's not a big announcement. I don't care if you can take it to go. You could take Diablo 3 to go on your computer. Sure, it's a little bit more cumbersome depending on what setup you have. But to my knowledge, Diablo 3 doesn't take a whole lot. It really doesn't take a whole lot of anything to run. That's one thing about Blizzard is that it really doesn't take a whole lot of space or requirements to run. Shh. Stop. And that's my thing. That's my issue of having with Nintendo Switch is they love to parade these new releases, but basically they're just reports. So Blizzard announces, oh, it's coming to Nintendo Switch. Who cares? If it came to the Nintendo Switch with a new character and a new and like a sixth act, I'd be all over that because that means that eventually it's gonna pro it's gonna be coming to other consoles and PC. That's not the case. 
trying to keep her entertained. She's being antsy. And every time I turn the camera on or turn on voice recorder, she's right there and she wants to be right there. So for all of you out there who also want to comment on how I'm being a neglectful parent, let me just say this, mind your own business. And I'm pretty sure if you have a kid that loves being, loves being around you that much. Yeah, exactly. So what does this mean? Well, pretty much what I'm trying to say here is that to me, Blizzard, you're not cutting it. This isn't cutting it. I'm sick and tired of, of the constant delays and all the, the the lack of information. You clearly are not paying attention to the fans. And the biggest problem here is that I do support your content. I think you have great games. I like Overwatch. I love Diablo. I was a huge fan of StarCraft. But this has got to stop. You need to start focusing on your... You need to start focusing on this. But they don't care because they're making the money. Hearthstone makes the money. Overwatch makes them money. Diablo 3 makes them money, but not nearly as much as the other two. But that doesn't, they don't mind. They just, they just, they ride. They're, and I'm realizing this now. Like, they're riding, they're riding the fumes of success. And the fans are starting to get a little bit anxious. They want new content. They want new stuff. I could care less about whether it gets ported to Nintendo Switch or not. Because I'm pretty sure in like six months, they're going to announce how the game is. You can then play it on a Tiger Wrist game. I don't care. I don't care what the game gets ported to. And I think we as gamers can separate what's good and what's just, and, and like, I'm sorry, what's good, what's bad, what's silly, and honestly, what's indifferent. Like, them porting it to Nintendo Switch, fine. That's something for people in the Nintendo Switch to enjoy. And by all means, enjoy it. But mostly everyone I've talked to who owns a Nintendo Switch, they own at least a PS4 or an Xbox One or a PC. So let's not sit here and pretend that you haven't played the game on those on any of those platforms. Ugh. Let's not pretend that you haven't played it in some platform. Okay, so it's been widely accessible. It's been on it's been on discounts, or I'm sorry, it's been discounted and sold at a lower price multiple times. Let's not go down that route. All right, or that road, that route. I almost want to say router for some reason. See, she wants to get up, she wants to get down, wants to get up, wants to get down. Here you go. Play with the monkey. Anyway. It's just upsetting. Because I remember when Diablo 3 first came out, a lot of people were giving it crap. She got her baby. She's happy for a minute. Um... A lot of people were uh, were very skeptical when it came to console because at that point they had taken down the auction house and a lot of people who originally got rich on the game are no longer getting rich on the game. So the legacy on it was becoming worse and worse. Now I, I played it on the console and I can't tell you how many hours I sunk into that game. I'm actually only three or four achievements away from platinuming the game on PS4. And the reason why I'm not is that it takes forever to get the bounties. But for this game to be out this long, they, the, um, the social media team really just, they love trying to play on the nostalgia of the game, but in all honesty, I feel like it's too little too late. Exactly. They're playing on the nostalgia of the team. They, they don't want to work on the, they don't want to work on anything new for the game. So either they're working on something else, which hopefully we'll hear about soon, or they're, they're clearly just going to keep riding this because people buy the games. People buy the games, they don't add anything to the games, and then they, and yet they wonder why fans get pissy when the game has an extremely short shelf life because they don't add anything to it. So yeah, in a sense, it, it yeah, they knew what they were doing. They knew if they, when they announced it on Nintendo, people were going to go out and buy it on the Switch because then you could take it with you on the go and it's more compact. Yeah, that's cool. And then in about a month, no one's going to care. The game has been beaten, and that's it. Because the thing with Nintendo is that their premium titles, their premium titles are going to outweigh, are going to outweigh this port within a month. I promise you. So that's going to do it for me. Just a minor complaint. Let me know what you think down below. I, I, I just, I would love to see something from Blizzard, either adding on this game or giving us a sequel to it. I feel like it's been, I feel like it's been long enough. Um, and, and seriously, with all the people begging you for something with Diablo 2, seriously, 
If you can't port the game, remake it. Just make just make another Diablo game. Make it make it like a, a remastering of the second or like the first game or the second game or a combined two, and just and just go on your way. You do that, I promise you, you will make record sales. People are begging for a console port of the second game, and the first game could use a big remastering in a big way. But anyway, that's gonna do it for me. Again, comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm gonna try to have more of these one on one things uploaded on here um honestly as far as updates is what's going on with content because i made a, a video talking about it i realized really quickly that doing stuff like that <sighs> i'm setting up a promise that i don't know i can keep so really as it stands right now um i'm just gonna try to get videos out here as much as i can i re um as hope gets older as things change and my time gets a little more freed up um, hopefully I get to do more of the things I like to do. Uh, but until then, I'm kind of stuck in the role that I am in now. So that's going to do it for me, and I will see you next time.